Introduction Rita's garden is bigger than Sita's garden. Have you ever wondered what the basis of this comparison? The comparison is based on the area of a garden, that is, the amount of space of the garden. In this lesson, we will learn about area in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define area Find the area of different figures by counting the squares Calculate the area of a rectangle Calculate the area of a square Calculate the area of composite figures Take two paintings of different sizes and compare them. The amount of space covered by the two paintings will be different. This is because the lengths and breadths of the two paintings are different. The amount of space covered by a closed two-dimensional figure is called its area. Area of one such figure can be different from the area of another such figure. Now let us calculate area with the help of a simple method. It is known as counting the square method. Draw the triangle on the squared paper. Each square has a side of 1 cm. First, count the complete squares enclosed by the triangle. Mark each of these squares as A. Then count the squares whose more than half part is enclosed by the triangle. Mark these as B. Now count the squares whose exact half part is enclosed by the triangle. Mark each of these as C. Ignore the squares whose less than half part is enclosed by the triangle. The area of triangle is 19 square centimeters. Let us find the area of a rectangle by counting squares. Take a rectangular pencil box. Place it on a squared paper. The length of the box is 15 cm. Arrange 15 squares of side 1 cm along its length. The breadth of the box is 8 cm. Arrange 8 squares of side 1 cm along its breadth. Altogether, 120 squares have been arranged on the squared paper. It means the area of the pencil box is 120 centimeters square, which is 15 centimeters multiplied by 8 centimeters. So we can generalize that the area of any rectangle is obtained by multiplying its length and breadth. Since a square is a rectangle whose length and breadth are equal, the area of a square is obtained by multiplying its side and side. Now that we know how to calculate area, let us solve a question based on the concept. Each wall of Nidhi's room is 4 meters high and 3 meters wide. She wants to cover one of the walls with wallpaper. She wants to know how many square meters of wallpaper will be required for the purpose? The area of the wallpaper required will be the same as the area of the wall that needs to be covered with it. The area of the wall is 4 meters multiplied by 3 meters, which is 12 square meters. So, 12 square meters of wallpaper will be required to cover the wall of Nidhi's room. Now let us advance a little further. Suppose there is a square garden of 18 meters. We want to make a provision for a path on all the four sides. The inner garden, after the path is made, should be of 15 meters. We want to find the area of the path. To do so, calculate and deduct the area of the inner garden 
from the area of the outer garden. Area of the outer garden is 324 meters square and area of the inner garden is 225 meters square. So, the area of the path will be 324 meters square minus 225 meters square which is equal to 99 meters square. Now that we have had enough practice, let us calculate the area of a shape that is made up of multiple rectangles. First, break the composite figure into individual rectangles. Calculate the area of each rectangle. Sum up the areas of all the rectangles to find the area of the composite figure. Here we can divide the given composite figure into three rectangles. Area of rectangle A is 18 cm square. Areas of rectangle B and C are the same, that is 20 cm square. Thus, the area of the composite figure is 18 plus 20 plus 20, which is equal to 58 cm square. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. The amount of space covered by a closed two-dimensional figure is called its area. Area of a figure can be calculated by counting the square method. Area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Area of a square is equal to side into side. Area of a composite figure can be calculated by dividing it into individual rectangles, finding their areas, and then summing them up.